2000 Pontiac Bonneville and the air conditioning isn't cooling the car correctly. You can see uh, it's 86 degrees outside. I have it set to 60 degrees inside. I'm going to check the temperature of the air coming out of the passenger side. And you can see that's 62 degrees. And now the driver's vents is uh, 100, 100 degrees coming out of the driver's vent. So we have uh, cool air coming out of the passenger side, but not the driver's side. I checked the actuator doors, the blend doors, to make sure that they are working properly, and they are. So now I'm going to uh, check the Freon charge and see if that's correct. So this is where we would check the pressure. This is the high side on this car and a low side. We want to check on the low side. You can tell this is the low side um, with the air conditioning running. There's condensation on this tube and it's colder. So we'll be checking the pressure here. Check the pressure. You want to have the car running and down here you can see the compressor. You want to make sure that the clutch is engaged and turning. Uh, the, AC should be set to high with the fan on high also. To charge the system I'm going to be using a kit uh, from AC Pro. It has the gauge attached to it and the hose. And uh, before we begin I strongly suggest you wear a pair of gloves and safety glasses. This is very high pressure and if something would go wrong it could be very dangerous. So I've removed the hose and the gauge from the can and I'm going to check the system and see what the pressure is and determine if it needs more added to it. The first thing we want to do is turn this dial until the arrow points to the ambient or outside temperature which is about 85 degrees. To remove the cap from the low pressure port and with the engine running and the air conditioning on, I'll place the hose on and check the pressure. And here you can see that the clutch is turning. So now I will put the hose on. And that just snapped on there. It's firmly seated. And checking the pressure, it's on the low side. We want to fill it till it's between these two red lines here that form a V. So now I want to remove this red and white disc from the can. And I'll reconnect this to the hose trigger assembly on, it'll puncture this and poke a hole in it, so never remove the trigger until the can is completely empty. As you're filling, you want to rotate the can from upright to horizontal, back and forth, squeeze the trigger for a few seconds, and then let go and check the pressure. So, we'll start now. You can see by the gauge that the pressure is starting to come up. And it's getting a little closer. On the line of that first V, so I'm going to add a little more. And 
I think I'll stop there. So to remove the hose, just pull up on this ring, it'll pop right off, and then put the cap back on. So now back in the car, I'll check the temperature on the passenger side. And that's down to 42 degrees now. And now on the driver's side, and that's down to 54. So that's better. I could still add a little more charge since the arrow is just in the beginning of the green and that would probably cool it a little more. After you're finished, leave the gauge on top of the can and uh, store it in a cool place until you need it next time.